Hi everyone, this is Ray with the channel Love Water Healing and I'm here to do a reading for all of my Pisces for the month of March. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up uh, button down below and subscribe to this channel so we can get more out into the algorithm. Ooh, yours is called Light Worker. You are a light worker. You are here to inspire and enlighten yourself and others to move from fear into love. You will be present always in all that you do. You don't have to figure out how you're going to do it, for you always have been doing it. Uh, as you allow light to illuminate your inner world, embrace and love all parts of you. You feel yourself shift from fear into love. Today, let us give great thanks to Mother Earth for the incredible privilege of being here. Through co-creation, we anchor our streams of consciousness into her for the joy of creating, expanding, and lightworking. This brings love growth for all you and I. Mother Earth, the solar system, galaxies, the universe, and beyond. You are spinning light into the web of life. That is amazing. I love it. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. Um, that's what the fairies are reminding you uh, to do this month. Let's see. Okay, and let's get your three tarot cards. I was making sure it was still recording us. I don't know what was happening, Pisces. Okay, uh, so the first thing to remember for the month of March is that um, it may feel like you don't always have someone to rely on, and you're going to come across this person, and it may even be you in some situations, right? So you may be the reliable one, but for the most part, you're going to feel like you want to rely on someone else. Um, and it's really going to bring a different vision and light uh, to the situation. I feel like this is in a relationship, like a personal relationship, as opposed to a business relationship. There's some tensions that come in um, in the middle, middle of the month in March, but that's okay. Because um, even though you know that it can feel a little yucky for a second, Pisces, that's okay because there's always highs and there's always lows, right? Um, and if there's a some kind of disagreement that happens or a conflict, you know what your next move is, you know what you're capable of doing, and you know what feels the best. Um, you're really working on, like this said here, uh, you're a light worker. And so in a lot of ways, if you've given your... Um, your body the opportunity to take that chance uh, then you know exactly what your next move is um, if you're still going in getting into the flow of it you're gonna start feeling it more here in the month of March and then there's lots of luck that comes in for you um, towards the end of March so make sure you take action and you explore the adventure ahead uh, Pisces, as we go through all these different changes for the planets and all the things happening, um, you're going to be affected because you're going to start to feel uh, the motion more. You've been a little bit more aloof or sort of floating on a cloud, uh, and now this is going to sort of push you in the next direction. I'm really excited for you, Pisces. It should be a really good month. And that's all I have. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. As always, love your water and... Love yourself, and I will see you on the next video. I love you. No, stop.